Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the Spark new feature, how to query data frame using Spark SQL. This new feature got introduced in Spark version 3.4 onwards. When you look at this uh, topic, query data frame using Spark SQL, you might feel that this feature is already available. Then what is new? Yes, this feature is already available in the previous versions also, but it was kind of workaround. Let's say you have a PySpark data frame and you have to use Spark SQL to explore data on the data frame. Then the workaround is we have to convert the data frame into table or temp view as a first step. Then in the next cell, we have to convert that cell into SQL using magic command percentage SQL. Then we have to start exploring using Spark SQL. That is the process. But Spark has simplified this uh, requirement even uh, simpler. I am going to show that feature in this video. Let's get started with the demo. In today's demo, I am going to show what was the previous approach and what is new and the new feature, what are the different use cases available? What are the different um, ways of using this new feature? That is what I am going to cover. I have logged into my Databricks environment. My cluster is also up and running. I have created Python notebook. And in the first step, I am going to create sample data frame for product dimension table. So uh, the table will contain columns, product ID, product name, category, price, and stock quantity. And it is having five records. Let me execute so that we can see the sample data frame. The execution is completed. Here we can see this is the data that we are having. Now, I am going to show how to use Spark SQL to explore data in this data frame. So as per the old approach, let me show the old approach first. So as per the old approach, we have to create temp view or we have to convert this uh, data frame into table. So in this uh, example, I am going to convert the data frame into temp view. For that, we have to use the method create or replace temp view. Then we have to give name for that view. So here. I am converting uh, our data frame product tf into view that is called view underscore product using create or replace temp view. Let me execute. The view got created. Now I want to use Spark SQL to explore data on my data frame which is converted as a temp view. So now I have to create a new cell within that I have to use a magic command percentage SQL. Then I have to uh, write the SQL uh, query like select star from view product. So let me execute. Here we can see the output. It's the same output of data frame, which is having five columns and five rows. Right. This is the old approach. Now coming to a uh, new feature. There is another way of handling this uh, scenario. So I'm going to explain that. So let's say this is our data frame product TF. I want to use Spark SQL. So for that, what I can see, what I can uh, do is I can do spark.sql within that I can give a, a select statement and as a parameter, I can give the table. So here, uh, if you look at the select statement, I'm using curly braces within that table. Whenever we are using curly braces, it means it's a parameterized Spark SQL statement. So table is a parameter. Basically, I can give any name. Even I can give ABC. It will accept. Uh, but uh, here I have given table. So outside, I have to uh, supply the value for that parameter. So table equal to product TF. Product TF is nothing but my data frame. So we are not converting our data frame into view or table. Directly we are using uh, data frame in our Spark SQL. So for that we are using parameter parameterized Spark SQL concept. I hope you understood. Let me execute. This is another way of exploring data frame using Spark SQL. This is the new approach, new feature introduced in Spark 3.4 onwards. Right. So. Uh, in this simple exercise, I have given table as a parameter, but not only table, even we can give column also as a parameter. So in my next example, I have given select column also I have parameterized and I have parameterized table also. So outside, I have to give parameter table equal to product df that is a data frame and column. I have multiple columns just uh, for this example, I have given product name. This is how not only table, we can parameterize uh, columns also. Let me execute so that we can see the output. Here we can see. Now, I have given simple uh, two different use cases. One is directly we can select everything from the table. And in the second use case, 
we can parameterize column also and apart from that similar to regular sql we can perform data transformations also using spark sql so in my next exercise what i have done is directly i am performing transformation on my data frame using spark sql so product tf that is what i am giving input uh, for my parameterized uh, spark sql within that i am choosing product id and i am applying one uh, string function concatenation concatenation of product name and category and also i am performing mathematical operation multiplication of pro price and stock quantity which is called total cost now this is kind of um, regular uh, use case or in a common requirement while uh, selecting a data from a table normally we used to apply various transformation that can be possible directly on the data frame let me execute this is the output of our transformation here we can see product id concatenation of product name and category here we can see laptop electronics and total cost this is actually multiplied multiplication of price and stock quantity right this is another uh, uh, you know another place uh, another requirement where we can use uh, this feature i want to highlight the use of this feature in today's world in today's big data world we can see most of the developers coming from database or data warehousing background so they are very very much familiar with sql than pyspark and even sql is more readable compared to pyspark and for pyspark you know most of the methods we have to import otherwise it will throw error so you know these are the couple of reasons why spark sql is preferred for uh, some developers over pyspark so here i am going to show you know the same uh, transformation how we can achieve using pyspark so in my next cell i have given that approach it's going to give same output so i am giving directly i am using spark, uh, data frame pyspark data frame uh, product tf dot select then you know we have to use columns call now there are various methods you know we can use data frame name within the square bracket we can use or in the latest version directly we can use column names also and uh, we have to use a uh, function concat you know for that we have to import that from pyspark.sql functions and um, i am uh, you know performing the concatenation and uh, using alias i am calling uh, calling that as a new name product name category and uh, using expression i am sql expression um, method that also i have uh, imported i am uh, performing the multiplication of price and stock quantity it is going to give a same output but only thing is we are using pyspark instead of spark sql so here you can see you know uh, for uh, people you know who are comfortable with pyspark they can go with this approach but uh, in uh, you know in most of the projects we can see most of the developers are more comfortable with sql for them this approach is going to be suitable so basically it is going to give uh, same output here this is the sql statement this is very uh, simple and straightforward and this is also uh, giving better readability compared to pyspark and this is the approach of pyspark right now you understood the difference between pyspark and spark sql now one more final use case i will cover so i am going to show you know how we can join multiple data frames directly um, using spark sql so for that i am going to create uh, two data frame one is product another one is sales data so let me execute so that we can see the data for our reference the execution is completed here we can see this is our uh, product uh, dimension table and this is our sales uh, fact table and uh, there is a joining key of product id between these two now i have to join so uh, in uh, pyspark you know there are uh, different approaches uh, to join but uh, here i am going to show you know how to uh, how to pass two tables as a parameter to my spark sql so for that it's going to be same approach i am using spark sql we don't need to convert um, you know any sql um, a cell directly we can use spark.sql within that we can uh, use select statement select start from table 1 here basically we can give any name here i have given table 1 join table 2 then based on a joining key so joining key that also i have parameterized so in this uh, um, example i have parameterized two tables along with one joining key so outside i am giving table 1 that is my product tf and uh, table 2 that is my sales tf and joining key that is nothing but my product id so let me execute the execution is completed here we can see now this is one of the simple join so this is um, uh, giving the output of you know joined uh, two tables uh, this is how you know we can use uh, this uh, new feature and uh, now we don't need to create a temp table anymore you know directly we can um, uh, use spark sql on top of pyspark data frame 
this is um, you know one of the advantage uh, you know, one of the you know feature uh, would be liked by most of the sql developers uh, and in this um, video i have given simple exercises simple examples but in real time you know we might get very complex um, uh, you know pyspark statement we have to write but instead of that we can go for spark sql that will uh, simplify your development process i hope you understood and enjoyed this video if you like the content of this video please like and comment in the channel also subscribe this channel don't forget to click on the bell button to get latest updates and features on the databricks and spark thank you